lastly, lastly for the human races is my personal favorite race of all, the Nord. I love the Nord. They are from Skyrim, so they are going to be the race that we see most of in Skyrim, I believe, because they are the inhabitants of Skyrim. Um, like I like I said before, they come from, or their ancestors come directly from the continent above Tamriel, which is called at Mora. In I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give more information on the Nord just because of Skyrim. So in the Elder Scrolls Skyrim, they we've got what's called the Dragonborn. Um, the Dragonborn in the game trailer is a Nord. Uh, so that character, that, that guy with the viking hat the helmet thing, is a Nord. But, I mean, you don't have to be a Nord, a Nord. They pretty much, I think they used a Nord for the trailer and all that because because it's Skyrim. They they seem to be um, the, like the version, the Elder Scrolls version of Vikings. They're tall and uh, pale. Like, they're pretty pale. Because it's cold, right? Um, so they're pretty pale. And they, they, their, their hair usually ranges from blondes to like light brown hair. They're enthusiastic warriors and pretty much are soldiers and mercenaries all over Tamriel. Not only are they resistant to the cold, cold weather, but they're also resistant towards cold spells like frost and um, that type of stuff. So they're, they're resistant to cold spells. They're also uh, natural people from the sea. They they're pretty. They trade through migration across the sea, and just because they 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 come from at Mora and using boats and all that, uh, they they pretty much kept that whole that whole system going. Nord means north. It actually means uh, north in actual languages. Like I believe it means north in German and in a bunch of other languages, I forgot. The reason why they left at Mora was because of a, a really nasty civil war that broke out there. So they they, they had to leave. The, the guy that rallied up the people from at Mora to leave and said, you know, we gotta get out of here, was this guy named Yesgrammer? Yesgrammer? I'm telling you, they have some really hard names to pronounce. So they sailed from at Mora to Skyrim. Uh, with this his grammar guy, they settled on a place called Hasrik, Hasarik, Sarik Head, Hasarik Head. Uh, they named the new land Merith in the tribute tribute to the Aldmeri elves that used that that lived there before them. Elves were already living there, and at first everything was cool, but gradually there started to become uh, there started to be conflicts between the two, between the men and between the elves. Um, and that is called the Night of Tears. That's when the elves raided on the first human settlers um, of Tamriel. And the elves decided to do this because they saw how fast the humans were reproducing and they were like, these guys are gonna take over. There, There's gonna be way too many of them and they're gonna take over. So they were like, let's just kill a bunch of them and like keep them in, like, you know, uh, let's control their numbers type of thing. So this Yiz, this Yiz Grammar guy, during this, the Night of Tears, he actually had to um, leave Skyrim and actually go back to Atmora. But later, uh, he came back to Skyrim with like 500 companions and defeated the elves. After this, uh, Skyrim, the Nords, actually created the first empire. Uh, they started to, um, throughout like 50 years, they started to spread all tour, uh, all of nor in northern Tamriel. So they, they actually took part of, Hi they, uh, they, that was, um, which included High Rock, because uh, High Rock is right by Skyrim, and um, the whole of Morrowind. So they took, the Nords ruled that whole top part of Tamriel, which is High Rock, Skyrim, and Morwen, and they even wanted to go for Cyrodiil, uh, the middle. So they they were they were expanding. They they were planning on taking all of uh, Tamriel. After some years passed, this King Borgas was in in rule. He was he was the one of the last 
in the in the line of this this grammar guy, the family. So it was now Borgas that was in the king, and he was killed by the wild hunt. Remember when I was talking about the wild hunt with the Bosmer, the wood elves? Um, it was at the end of the era, so it was time for the wild hunt. And the Bosmer freaking, they killed Borgas and ate him. And this was the, de the the beginning of the decline of the Nordic Empire. This thing, this is probably one of the reasons why I really like the Nords. They, they have a, a spiritual relationship uh, with breath, uh, which is associated with the sky goddess, Kane. For ages, the Nords have considered the breath and voice um, one to be one of their uh, vital essences and this this they've even made this into like a long practice spiritual form of magic known as the way of the voice or summoning one's voice and this is what's called the the um which is the shout and this is what we're gonna be seeing in Skyrim um, the shout uh, anybody could learn how to do the shout that's why you don't have to be a Nord in Skyrim in order to use the shout. Um, and you don't have to be a Nord to be a Dragonborn either. So it doesn't matter what race you choose. But the Nords are the masters of the th um, the, the shout. This comes from a piece that's called Children of the Sky. Uh, I believe this was in Oblivion, maybe? The Nords consider themselves to be the children of the sky. They call Skyrim the throat of the world because it is where the sky exhaled on the land and formed them. They see themselves as eternal outsiders and invaders, and even when they conquer and rule another people, they feel no kinship with them. The breath and the voice are the vital essence of the Nord. When they defeat great enemies, they take their tongues as trophies. These are woven into ropes and can hold speech like an enchantment. The power of a Nord can be articulated into a shout, like the Kiai of a Akaviri swordsman. Um, the strongest of their warriors are called tongues. When the Nords attack a city, they take no siege engines or cavalry. The tongues form in a wedge in front of the gatehouse and draw in breath. When the leaders let when the leader lets out in a kiai, the doors are blown in and the axemen rush into the city. Shouts can be used to sharpen blades to strike enemies. A common effect is a shout that knocks an enemy back, or the power of command. A strong Nord can instill bravery in men with with his battle cry. Or stop a charging warrior with a roar. The greatest of the Nords can call to specific people over hundreds of miles and can move by casting a shout, appearing where it lands. I just find that absolutely fascinating. I love, this is one of the reasons, like I said, why I love the Nord, is because of this whole idea of the voice, of the shout, of the breath, how, how, much, uh, how much power that has uh, for them. But the art of the Thaum, the shout, it, as a weapon, is now lost and forbidden. Tiber Septim, the emperor, I've talked about him a few times. He, uh, he was, uh, he he learned, um, how to do, how to use a um. And the a the ancient graybeards. These are actually going to be in Skyrim. They're they're going to appear in Skyrim. This the graybeards. Uh, they they live in High Hrothgar, the point. Uh, High Hrothgar is on the, the very tip, the very top of the, the largest mountain in Skyrim, the throat of the world. Uh, that's where the Greybeards are. They're absolute masters of the Tha'um, and they live in absolute silence in order to better attune themselves to the voice of the sky. Uh, when they speak, storms brew above High, High Hrothgar, and people are forced to evacuate due to the Im imminent danger of avalanches. Uh, they shout out Dovahkiin. Does that sound familiar? Dovahkiin is dragonborn. There are only five members of the Greybeards left. Their religion, the Nords, they they uh, worship the Nine Divines, specifically L uh, Lorcan, the 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 Adra the Adria that I was talking about that the elves hate. The Nordic Akatosh, if you guys remember when I was talking about the Divines, mm -hmm. 
Akatosh was um, the first, the first Adra to become, uh, I mean, was the first Atta to become an Adra. Um, so he was the first Adra. And Akatosh was the dragon uh, god of time, I believe it's called, uh, I think he was. But um, he's also known as Alduin, and that's what's going on on Skyrim. Um, Akatosh, or Alduin, is returning. It says that he's a terrible, ravenous dragon who presides over the cycle of existence and devours the universe at intervals. So the Nords are very af afraid of uh, Alduin. Um, because it's, he's, he, 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 whenever he comes, it's to destroy, uh, <clears throat> and not, and it's, it's more like, you know, from, um, you gotta destroy something in order for it to, to bloom again. So the, the Nords actually see the Altmer, the High Elves, as kind of perverse, because the High Elves actually, um, uh, they, they, they worship. They, they actually they worship very much Akatosh. They 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 hold Akatosh in a very high place. Um, now remember, Akatosh is Alduin, the the um, the dragon. Uh, but they call they call him Ariel. So I think this is gonna probably be shown in Skyrim, and I think we're gonna see how the Nords are afraid of that, but the High Elves are like they're probably seeing it as mm -hmm. the return of their. They're highly worshipped god. Uh, the dragonborn are, they're used, these are people that are um, heirs of the Emperor Tiber Septum. Most of these uh, have been of the Imperial race, but only uh, Tiber Septum was known to also possess the soul of a dragon. Dragonborn can be of any race, like I said, uh, as the abilities and title are given by the Nine Divines to favored subjects. There's also an isolated tribe um, of the Nords in Skyrim that is known as the Skull uh, and they follow a different form of faith instead of worshipping uh, like your religious the mainstream religion they they venerate nature so they regard they regard wolves and bears um, s as sacred so it's gonna be very interesting when it comes to um, Skyrim and this whole idea of Alduin and the Nords and how different people see Alduin as different. Um, some are some fear Alduin and some actually uh, are probably going to be pretty happy that he's returning. Now let's talk about the skill bonuses for the for the Nord. Um, the Nords get plus two plus plus ten uh, plus ten two handed uh, plus five block plus five light armor. Which kind of surprised me. I thought they would be more like heavy armor, but light armor. Uh, plus five one-handed, and plus five smithing, and plus five speech, of course. So they've got pretty much everything that is um, that makes a, a, a warrior. Like you're you're uh, a warrior that is more focused in damage dealing than in um, in defense because of that plus 10 two-handed mm -hmm. but these this is just um, based off the skills if I mean you could turn your character into anything you want I mean hell you have a freaking Nord that that uses magic and stuff like that but you just don't have those extra uh, that extra push and their special abilities is battle cry target target flees for 30 seconds and resist frost. Your Nord blood gives you 50 resistance to frost. 